ساعة العمل ضغط ساعة الزعب If that's one version of events, the other came from Gaddafi himself. He turned up by telephone on Libyan television with a message to Azawiya. He said the town had been infiltrated by Al-Qaeda, Bin Laden, drugs and madness. The demands come from Bin Laden. You Azawiya people are substituting the popular and Jamahiriya system with Bin Laden. Bin Laden cells have been operating here for months. His operatives are provoking and brainwashing your children, inciting them to launch attacks. The enemy perpetrating the killings of our children, operating from mosques or elsewhere. Bin Laden and his operatives are providing your children with hallucination pills. Those are the true perpetrators. Arrest them and bring them to court. The Gaddafis are certainly not short of opinions on what's happening in their country. While his father was blaming Al-Qaeda and drugs for the revolts, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi once again accusing the outside media of invention and lies. We have to understand that the conspiracy against us is not coming from Libyans. It is coming from our Arab brothers. They have used their media to spread lies and deception. Tomorrow, all media is coming and they will film everything. There is also an investigation committee, which includes foreigners. You will discover that we were deceived. You will find that this was the biggest lie to Libyans in our history. As well as all these observations from the Gaddafis, Libyan TV has been showing other pictures aimed at putting the fear into the opposition. It isn't clear whether these men are alive or dead, though at least one is still moving. There was a message as well, give all your weapons in and we won't harm you. It's unlikely to be believed by the protesters. It's hardly surprising the government wants the opposition to agree to a weapons amnesty. These images from Misrata in the West, said to be the scene of new fighting after falling to the opposition, suggest the uprising has as many heavy weapons as the army. During his latest address, Gaddafi offered the opinion that Libya's tribal leaders, some of whom have been meeting in al Baida, should be taking more responsibility for local government and controlling their young people, though here they said they were more interested in the United Nations coming to save them. Gaddafi said he himself had become more of a symbolic leader of Libya. As the Arab proverb says, if you carry a leaking water bag, it will make your back wet. And it is your responsibility. It is none of my concern anymore. This was an address different in tone and content to his speech of Tuesday night. Wishful thinkers might hope it sounded almost valedictory. Or perhaps in arguing that he isn't really leader and therefore isn't in charge, it was simply a denial of responsibility. May peace be on Azawiya and its people. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.